I know I am. It's great to be able to just focus on telling the story while someone else handles the driving for once. Let's get to the next one. This time, it's Lotus. Lotus Engineering Limited began as many stories in British engineering do, in an old barn. The first Lotus cars were offered as kits. You built them yourself. From 1962, they began to actually build the cars themselves. The Elan Sprint showed exactly what they intended to do. Built around a steel backbone with a fiberglass chassis, the Sprint weighed in at a meagre 687 kilos parked on the curb. On the road, this translated into brilliant agility and fantastic performance. Designer Colin Chapman famously said, adding power makes you faster on the straights. Subtracting weight makes you faster everywhere. He knew what he was talking about. In 100 meters, turn right. In 100 meters, turn left. Widely hailed as one of the greatest sports cars of the 1960s, the Elan would be closely studied and emulated, inspiring such masterpieces as the Mazda MX-5. The Elan has all the energy, style and enthusiasm you would expect. Bold, quick and fun. So much so that they put it in the name. The Elan Sprint was a financial as well as an engineering success for Lotus, validating their approach to design and resulting in a whole family of light, agile roadsters. Which brings us to this, the Lotus Exige. It's heavier than the Elan, admittedly, but it's faster, much, much faster. Touch the pedal, the Exige responds with instant, relentless acceleration, as you'd expect. With a 0 to 60 time of 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 170 before upgrades and tuning, the Exige is uncompromising. And there's no power steering, so you can really feel the road. A genuinely thrilling drive, and one that isn't afraid to demand you take it seriously. 400 metres. Turn left. Turn left. In one word, Lotus is about the experience. Uncompromising, challenging. This is a car that demands you drive it well. And when you do, you'll see what the fuss is all about. You will arrive at your destination. Let them do the talking, I don't bother with it much. I might wake up in the morning to a Grammy winning crunch. And with rumored launches of two new cars in 2020, Lotus looks set to push the benchmark of the experienced sports car well into the next century.